If you haven't watched part one, I urge you to watch it right now. Actually, it doesn't matter. You can watch this first and watch part one later. These sessions were not easy, trying to come up with new ideas with the same spaces, with five different models, with a different light in the afternoon. Ah, this helps, actually. I easily get bored, so I love to flip things up and, you know, try to find new ideas, new things to do. I do my best to not replicate an image that I've already done in the same space, with the exception of maybe one or two images. Depending on how the light behaves, on how it enters each room in the morning and in the afternoon, this should guide you on what to do and how to use the spaces that you have. This highlights the importance of knowing the space you're shooting in. If you have the luxury of visiting the place beforehand, in the morning and in the afternoon, or at least in the morning, and see where the sun is, and kind of guess how it will enter and light each room in the afternoon, this will help greatly. For these images, I used that mirror that you may have seen in the first video. But this time, I moved it closer to the window because we had a soft light. Yeah, and we wanted to go for that soft, dark look. In the afternoon, the light was completely different, indirect and softer, so I had to use a little bit more of my flashes to get the look that I wanted. Same thing for the bedroom shots. One light was used to accentuate the light coming from the window. And I saved the best for last for this image. Yeah, only window light. I even did something that I don't do often here during these afternoon sessions. I played with backlit images, I played with shadows. Don't be afraid of shadows.
For this one too, I didn't use any flash. And for this final shot, I used one flash, placed camera left. And because I really wanted each session to be unique, on this one I decided to use a little bit more my flashes. I went a little further with the dark contrasted look. Please, if you have watched both videos, tell me which session out of the five you preferred best. Like always, you will find all the pictures from these sessions on my blog in better quality, of course. For this type of photo shoot, I'm done with hotels, apartments, houses, bedrooms. The next one that I will do, I will take it outside. So that's it. I really hope that you learned a thing or two in these two videos and got a few ideas that you can, you know, apply in your own project. Thanks for sticking around again this week. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. And if you haven't called your mom already, please do so and tell her that you love her. I guess that I will see you again in the next one. But until then, please have a great one.